I know I ain't the only one that saw this, and this is some dumb shit. By Disney, congratulations, you played yourself. Um, why did you go through all that trouble of pulling all of the Marvel shows that were only on Netflix if you can't even use a few of them? What was the point of that? Just out of curiosity? I'm not mad about you pulling shit like The Defenders. I'm not mad at you even pulling Punisher or any of the shits, to be honest with you. The only one I liked was Luke Cage. That was the only one that I thought was any good. The rest of them just flat out sucked. I didn't care for Iron Fist. <clears throat> Jessica Jones, I just... I couldn't get into. I really couldn't. I mean, the preview made it look really good, but then when I watched the episode, I, I found myself insanely bored. So... You got rid of Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Daredevil, and The Defenders as a series in whole for Netflix. You pulled all of that. You even pulled Punisher. But you can't, Disney, you personally can't use these fucking titles. Don't you own Marvel? Why is it you can't use these titles? Please make this make sense on a level of... Well, they pulled it from Netflix for a good reason. Because right now, as it sits, if you can't use the properties, then why did you stop the properties from making you money? I mean, they are your properties. Why would you stop that income? That makes no sense to me. I get you own you own Marvel and, and, and that's your property. You know, I do whatever you want to with it. It just makes no sense to me because... Netflix literally put not only their reputation on the line for these shows, but they also help bring these characters back from, like, the graveyard. Because after Ben Affleck was Daredevil, there hasn't been a second Daredevil movie. You feel what I'm saying? Um, we might have never saw Luke Cage. Like, I don't know that many people who know Luke Cage. Like, I don't think he's, like, that well-known. Um, but Daredevil and Punisher both got revamps. They got to be revived. I mean, Warzone, Punisher Warzone was terrible. It'd be like pulling uh, Ghost Rider off of Netflix if they would have came out with a Ghost Rider for Netflix. I mean, it makes no sense. Netflix, this is where you do good work. <clears throat> and you know for a fact that I have a problem with Netflix. They seem to have canceled the majority of their weed programming for no reason. And people were judging disjointed the wrong way before I speak on that, because I will. Um, it just doesn't make sense. Why would Walt Disney pull obviously profitable content from Netflix when Netflix saved a couple of those characters? I'd have at least let them keep Daredevil, because... If it wasn't for Netflix optioning Daredevil, Daredevil still would be MIA when it comes to everything because we see Spider-Man on the big screen. He's getting a sequel. Um, but we haven't seen Ghost Rider. We haven't seen Daredevil since their movies. And even The Punisher. We haven't seen The Punisher since his last movie. Then Netflix came out with a Punisher series. And... People liked it. I myself don't care for it, but people liked it, and they liked it in the sense of, hey, Punisher's something to talk about again. You could have at least let them keep Punisher and Daredevil, Disney. When the hell are you going to make an R-rated adult-themed comic book movie ever? Those you could have left with Netflix. I'm not a fan of either one, but I can at least respect the fact that Disney, you're Disney. You do not make R-rated content. Hell, you barely push PG-13. So, maybe it's time to think about that just a little bit. Now on to Netflix, because Netflix, you guys are still fucking morons. We're out here in the middle of pushing for marijuana to be legalized. You have great programming that could help that disjointed and cooking on high. Cooking on high is like definitely a guilty pleasure. You, taking that show serious will just fuck you up. Same thing with Disjointed. It's a comedy. It is a comedy. A comedy. Okay, excuse me. Regardless of if you like everything, 
doesn't really fucking matter. You don't have to like a comedy from beginning to end. That's why comedies are not from beginning to end good. They're usually parts that you really love about it. And you'll watch it a billion times just for that part. Anyway. Disjointed had a great concept. Which is to show weed in more forms than the negative that we've seen this entire time. And after MTV and How High 2 flops. How that movie flopped because it did. We need shows like this jointed back. We need another season of fucking uh, Cooking on High. We need all these programs, Netflix. Bring this shit back, man. We are trying to push for the legalization, the decriminalization of marijuana. We are trying to fix this in 2019. By 2020, it should be completely corrected. By all states having the ability to have medical, at the very least, marijuana available. And Netflix, you need to jump on board. Fuck all these other sideways talking, ass backward views of corporations talking about, well, we don't want it. Da, da, da. Fuck them. They're, they are only saying that so you won't. They would stay with you even if you did. You know why? Only it. Idiot ass company is going to walk away from millions of dollars. You feel what I'm saying? Anyone who starts to think a company would pull out of any investment that's making them millions of dollars because of their views on marijuana, believe me, that company does not have long to be around. Because if you're making millions, believe me, your priorities, your standards, and all that other good shit is only going to matter to if it does or does not affect your millions. You feel what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm out.